We're here at the Glade Road Research Facility at Virginia Tech, and we this year have evaluated at three different sites numerous products. We've got six different active ingredients, all applied on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly uh, application frequency, and we're trying to determine whether or not they can control crabgrass and goosegrass effectively, and to what degree they're going to injure putting green turf. I mean, this is discoloration to the green. We really don't have thinning. No density problems. Playability should be maintained with the Acclaim or the uh, Quinclorac program. Throw a little pigment in there and they'll be fine. But we have discovered other programs that are also controlling crabgrass and or goosegrass and are far superior to these programs in putting green safety. And one of them is commercially available right now and legal to use on putting greens. One of the more interesting products that we've evaluated in this project is Pilex or Topramazon. And I'm going to compare that to the Acclaim program and the Drive Accelerate programs. This is Acclaim at three and a half ounces per acre applied weekly. This is Drive Accelerate at 16 ounces bi-weekly and Drive Accelerate at eight ounces weekly. And these three plots here are all Pilex. This is Pilex at 0.06 ounces weekly, Pilex at 0.125 ounces bi-weekly, and Pilex at a quarter of an ounce every month. And all three of these programs have been considerably safer to the bent grass than either the Acclaim program or the Drive program. But probably one of the herbicides that I am most excited about is Tupersan or Siduron. Now this product is completely legal to use on a putting green Although it is not a post-emergence herbicide, what we have found is that if you utilize 2% in a program similar to how we're using a claim, which is right here, if you use 2% very frequently on a seven-day interval, it'll actually keep crabgrass and goosegrass out of the putting green and extremely safely. This is 2% applied at six pounds product per acre every seven days, and this is 12 pounds product per acre every 14 days. Now we're here at the Turfgrass Research Center, and we're on an L93 putting green that is heavily infested with crabgrass. And here's a close-up of the 2% plots. Right here is six pounds product per acre applied weekly. And this is 12 pounds product per acre applied bi-weekly. And really, this is the star of the show. We are getting excellent crabgrass control, and, and 2% is not really considered a post-emergence crabgrass product, but in this particular trial, there was three to five percent crabgrass cover in these plots when the trial was initiated and two percent has given us post-emergence control of that original crabgrass in the plot and is keeping crabgrass out uh, to date and, and in fact it's some of the best looking plots in this trial. Now this is our third and final location for this experiment. We're here at the Turfgrass Research Center. We're on a fallow site that is actually a USGA specification putting green. So here at the fallow site, again, worst case scenario, both crabgrass and goosegrass infestation, this is our untreated check plot. It's probably about 70% covered with both crabgrass and goosegrass. These are our Pilex programs, 0.06 ounces per acre applied weekly. Excellent control of goosegrass, 100%. We are missing maybe one to 5% of the crabgrass in that plot. Here we have Pilex at the 0.125 ounce per acre rate applied bi-weekly. And then this is the monthly application at a quarter ounce. And in this case, we're getting the best weed control, nearly complete control of both crab and goose. Here we're looking at the Quinclorac plots. This is eight ounces weekly or 16 ounces bi-weekly of Drive Accelerate. Drive has completely controlled crabgrass in these plots, but zero control of goosegrass. When we look at a claim, which are these two programs, this is a claim at three and a half ounces weekly, a claim at seven ounces bi-weekly. No broadleaf control. We would not expect a herbicide like a claim to have activity on broadleaves, and so these plots are full of spurge, but a claim has completely controlled both crabgrass and goosegrass in these plots. And now we're looking at the Tupersan plots, or Siduron. This is Tupersan at six pounds product per acre every seven days. This is 2% at 12 pounds product per acre every 14 days. And you can see to the line, this is the acclaim plot, right where the broadleaf weed control starts from 2%, we're 
We are also almost completely controlling crabgrass and goosegrass. The only thing that's escaping is there are a few goosegrass plants, and we do see a few more goosegrass plants in the weekly low-rate program compared to the bi-weekly higher-rate program.